Hey, yeah. Mike, we got some great news today. All right. We are refinancing a rental, and we thought that it would appraise for about 150, and it appraised for like 180 or 190. 195, dude. 195. Holy cow. Just out. looked at the report myself. This is so cool. We are refinancing a rental. And we thought that it would appraise for about 150, and it appraised for like 180 or 190. 195, dude. 195. Holy cow! Just out. looked at the report myself. This is so cool. So that does a lot to allow us to do this deal with zero dollars out of pocket using the Burr method. Can we whiteboard this real quick? Like maybe uh, how we are the numbers here. Like, so what, what did we buy this one for? We bought it for 54. 54 thou, okay. And we spent about Maybe 25 or 30, give or take. So bought it. We spent 35 on the rehab. Okay. My handwriting's not that great. I, I know, and I'm not I'm not good at math either. So <laughs> that is 89. We're into this for 89k. And we figured it would appraise for like about 150, but it ended up appraising for 190. Appraisal. Uh, Your handwriting is just as bad as mine. 109. Well, it was a 195, but I already messed that That's up. Some chicken scratch you got going on hey, over there. Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, so 190. Long story short, we're going to do about a 70% um, loan to value. So we're only going to get a 136K principal loan. Is that what that is? Alexa, oh, it's what's 70% of 190,000? 133. Yeah, so, so just do it. Oh, there you go. 195. Yeah, make it make it the right number. 195. We got 136 uh, K loan because they lent us 70% of the appraisal versus 80% because it's a cash out. Because we're going to take cash out. So instead of it being us getting the loan for 136 and paying back the 89, we're actually we're doing that, but we're pulling money out. So that's why it was 70% versus the 80%. Sweet. So with our, our payoff is not 89 though, because we have interest. So there's more line items over on this. So plus interest of about 6K, roughly. Hey, look at that. Look at that. So we owe 98, is that, is that a 98? There's a five. It looks like an R, not a K, but that's okay. We'll go with a K. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, I, didn't know, I didn't know I had to hey, use handwriting here. Hey, that's all right. Okay, this is great. So 95K is basically going to be the payoff loan interest. We're going to have closing costs. We're going to have um, prepaid escrows. So let's call this 100K. Okay. That's, you know, we're going to have to prepay some escrows. We're going to have closing costs. If there's a little bit more interest, seven or eight, that covers it. So we're all in on this property for um, 100K. By the way, this property that we bought here, is a four bedroom, two bath. It's a four bedroom, two bath house. I'm it's, just running rent comps. It's right next to our office. Um, and it's gonna rent for 1400 bucks a month. Look at this, it appraised for 195. Our loan was 136 guys. So if we were to do 136 minus the 100, that's 36K that we're gonna walk with at closing. 36,000 that we're gonna walk with at closing. We bought a new house. We rehabbed that house. We rented that house. We refinance, or we're in the process of refinancing it for this. And that's ultimately gonna lead us to walking away with 36,000 bucks. The payment's gonna be 851. Look at this. This, We're getting carried away. Isn't this fun? So this about is awesome. 30, about 30K is going to go in our pocket plus about $300 a month. 30K is going in our pocket plus about $300 a month. And that includes, guys, $300 a month. But that includes the taxes and the insurance and the payment. So that's really. And property management. So and yeah. And all this other all stuff. All this other stuff too. So on a 30 year loan, we typically would be looking more for four to 500 cash flow. But if we're including the escrows, that makes for a win. So this has just been a quick case study that we wanted to do on a, on a bird deal. The goal typically, guys, is gonna be zero. Oh, that's not one that works. I have to find one that works, here you go. The goal typically is gonna be, you know, zero dollars out of pocket in the end. Um, little to no money, right? You guys constantly are hearing me and Mike say, little to no money, little to no money, little to no money, but sometimes, you can actually make big bucks by doing these cash out refinances with the Burr method. The key is you gotta buy the deal right. You gotta buy the deal right.
So head on over to discountpropertyinvestor.com to learn how to buy deals right. Signing off. Thanks, guys. Mm-hmm.